Hello guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel and today we're here for the playoff semi-final legs against Bradford City. Since you were last here we've had some decent form. We started off with back-to-back -back wins against Doncaster and Sutton before losing to Salford, then a 1-0 win against Harrogate, followed up by a 3-1 defeat to Leighton Orient, who are quite good to be fair though. But then three wins on the bounce, Carlisle, Rochdale and Stockport per side, before a 2-0 loss to Hartlepool away from home was a disappointing result. But then four wins on the bounce against Mansfield, Tranmere, Bra uh, Barrow and Bradford City, both of those games against quite high up in the table teams at the time, meant that the, the, it put us in a great position for the last three games. Uh, we lost 3-1 to AFC Wimbledon, a 1-0 draw against Crewe, and then a 3-1 loss on the final day against Crawley. But, this is the team now for this game. A big game against Bradford City, who we beat 3-0 earlier in the season. It's Sol Brennan goal. Lavenier, McDonald, Bowdry and Devine in the back four. Reed, John and Darcy the midfield three. Wakeling, Williams, Sinclair, the front three. Sinclair's been average since he came in. Look, he's not been anything special, but he's been better than any of the other strikers we've had all season. So, there is that. So, let's get into it. And, let's get a good advantage going into the second of the legs. Let's just change this to the latest scores for this. I think it makes more sense. Here's Devine with the throw in. It's a good tackle by the um, Bradford City player. And here is Dion Pereira. Plays it back to Critchlow Noble. What can he do? Smallwood. Now Ride Hay. Dion Pereira's done really well. What can he do? Coming forward through the lines. It's a great run by Dion Pereira, who's not been stopped until McDonald brings him down in the box. And it's going to be a penalty. And he could be in trouble. He does get booked, and it's going to be Son Goes Time to Shine. Can he score? He can. It's a great penalty. Sol Brin dived before he had even started shooting, and Jan Songo scores to make it 1-0 to Bradford City and it's an awful start for Swindon Town who are already a goal down and it's it wasn't even 10 minutes and I'm sure that they'll be very disappointed in that and I'm I so we now need to get back into this because if we can't it could all be over after this first leg which is at home by the way there is Reed. Baldry, Devine, Darcy, John, Niall John, does well but shoots and he didn't need to shoot with Niall John, he had time and space to find a pass if he needed to and it's poor decision making from the youngster, there's Devine with the corner, ball in, McDonald's, oh I thought it was in. I think he has to score, and that's very close. No shots on target for Swindon so far, and it's a free kick for Bradford City, and it's Smallwood just past the post, and Richie Smallwood not far off. And though Bradford City haven't necessarily been the better team, they've had their shots on target, and that's the key thing. Williams, set piece. Towards the back post, Niall John can't win the header, and now Swindon are open to being counter-attacked here. Here's Ride Hale. It's a great ball. Chapman's in behind. No one's back for Swindon to mark him. Chapman, one-on-one, -on -one, hits the post. So lucky for Swindon Town, who get away with it again. And they can't keep missing their chances because big chances are coming for the other team as well at half time they have not start we've not started this game very well at all we've you know, had chances but just can't hit the target Williams corner ball in Sinclair's there but Cook does really well here is Darcy now 
Back out to Baldry. Now Reed looks to shoot, and it's a great goal by Louis Reed. What a finish! And we in Swindon needed something like that. We needed something like that, and that is a brilliant goal by Louis Reed. And that is lovely, lovely, lovely. Darcy played it out to Baldry, who laid it on to Louis Reed. One touch, bang! Great goal, and. We're back level, which is really, really important for us. And we now need to see what we can do. We need to try and find a second goal and a third and a fourth. We need to take them to the shops. And here is Williams. He's in behind. Williams scores! And Johnny Williams makes it 2-1 to Swindon Town, which is brilliant for us because... It means that if we can hold this out, we'll have the aggregate lead going into the second leg away in Bradford. Divine, good ball over the top. It wasn't won by the Bradford City defender and Williams. Great finish. Lewis could have done better, but the Swindon fans will not care. And now Swindon Town... Just need to maybe try and find that third goal. A goal which would be very important if they could find it. But they also need to be careful that they do not concede a second. It's a balancing act for Swindon. And here is Louis Reed. Five minutes to go. McDonald, ball over the top. Williams could be in if he does something right here. He's in to Sinclair, who scores! And Swindon Town a 3-1 up, and Jerome Sinclair scores! And it's a big, big goal for him. It's a big, big goal for Swindon. And though he's not scored many goals from outfield play, that is a massive goal for Jerome Sinclair. And it's a great, great finish. Williams into Jerome Sinclair. He hits the post and goes in, but he won't care. He will not care at all. But now, Swindon need to defend. They need to keep this 3-1 lead because this could be absolutely crucial going into the away leg. Here's Ride Hay, though. Now Pereira. Great ball. Walker's in and Walker scores. And immediately after they go two goals up, they concede. And Swindon... Just turning off defensively. We've seen it multiple times this season where they've you know, gone and scored a couple of goals but then they turn off defensively. In the other game, AFC Wimbledon, a goal up and Bradford City are looking for an equaliser here which would be crucial for them. And Sol Brin's came out of his goal. What is he doing? Oh, and Sol Brin gives them the goal pretty much. He may as well have not even been there. What? Was he thinking Swindon Town have thrown away a two-goal lead in the final six minutes? And that is horrific goalkeeping. It's awful defending as well from McDonald, who just didn't rise. And it's a draw in this game. It's awful. It's a terrible result. And I am so disappointed with that. I don't know what we were thinking. And, well... Now, they've got the momentum, and we seemingly just can't defend. The form's terrible. Three points from our last five games. It's not looking very good. It is not looking very good at all. Let's get into this second playoff game. Here we go then. Second leg. Bradford City versus Swindon. We need a big performance from the boys. Solbrin starts in goal. Lavenier, McDonald, Bowdry. Divine. Reed, John, Spong, the midfield, three. And it's Wakeling, Williams, and Sinclair, the front three. Let's get into it. We've just got a hope. We've just got a hope. Because, you know, it's luck out on that pitch. So we're going to say to them, have fun and enjoy the match. You know, relax the players. I'm not going to put any pressure on them. You know, we know what we can do, but they did finish higher than us in the league table, you know, we've got to be realistic, you know, they came back from 
you know, the edge of not even being, you know, you know, of, I mean, we were we were two goals to the good, you know, we could have just parked the bus here and then, you know, got the result, but they fought back, now we're the ones kind of on the back foot, you know, we don't have the, you know, the confidence of you know, coming back from adversity, we've got the, you know, the, the kind of weight behind us of, you know, we should have, we should have tied this up in that, in that fixture, and we're away from home as well, so it's going to be really tough this game, but here is Louis Reed. Ball over the top, Sinclair's done really well, what a goal! Jerome Sinclair puts us 1-0 up within the first 10 minutes, and I hope, I hope we can see this through. It's such a great goal, he's just caused havoc in there. It's a good ball by Louis Reed over the top of their defence, and the finish, wow, it's special isn't it, from Jerome Sinclair. And... Let's hope we can see this through now. AFC Wimbledon, I would be confident in saying, are going to be going to the playoff final. But who will join them? That is the question. We've just got to see this through. Here is McDonald, Reed. Now Baldry. What can he do? Spong. Back to Baldry. Now John. Over the top. He's in behind the game. Jerome Sinclair scores another. And it's three in two for Jerome Sinclair. He's on fire at the moment. And it's a brilliant finish. And we are two goals to the good on aggregate and in this game. We now need to see the game through. We won't make any defensive changes until at least half time though, because I don't want to go defensive too early. Here's Banks though, ball over to Walker, what can he do? Scored in the last game, here's Chapman and McDonald's giving away another penalty in back to back games. And now, it's going to be Walker to take the penalty. He steps up, and Solbrin saves it! Solbrin saves a penalty! Oh my goodness me, what a massive, massive moment. It's huge, huge in the context of this season. Banks, ball in, Platt, great save by Solbrin, who's keeping us in this game right now. He's keeping us ahead, and at the moment... We're hanging on by the skin of our teeth. Banks with the corner. In towards the back post. Oliver, great. Oh, I thought he saved it. It hit the bar. I think Bryn had it covered, but that was really close. And we've got the two-goal advantage. And Grimsby have scored. So, only a one-goal advantage now in that game for AFC Wimbledon. We won't make any massive changes yet. We'll wait until we get to about now. So let's make some changes. We're going to go with a shorter tempo. We're going to go lower, uh, lower tempo, shorter passing. Definitely more disciplined. Out of possession, let's just go for a lower defensive line. Let's go for more of a, 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 a just a low block. And let's let's not press as much. Uh, when we get the ball, when possession has been lost, regroup, hold, you know, when, we, when we win the ball, just hold shape. And that's what we're going to do. We just want to shut off any Bradford City attacks. Here's Wakeley. What can he do? Wakeley. Now Lavenier. Cuts inside. Lavenier with the shot. And Lewis. Great save. And we're just gonna go I'm gonna go defensive. And I'm gonna make some defensive changes. Which are gonna be going to more of a black to midfield. We're gonna bring on I'm trying to think. Blake Tracy, I think, is gonna come on. Divine. Um right, can Lavanier play up here? He can, right. So we'll actually 
bring on up him. So we're going to do that, and we're going to do that, and we'll also do that, or or will we? Yeah. Um, and then what other changes are we going to make? Let's move to more of a that sort of formation. Um, to change to a DLP. Bong's going to come off. We're going to bring on Tom Clayton, who can play as the anchor man in that midfield. And Brennan just plays a fullback, Divine fullback as well. And we'll just get you as a centre back on defend. So that's, that's going to be the plan. Just defend from here on out, really. And we'll also bring on Ian Dolo. And let's see what we can do. Can we just see this game through? That's the plan. Got 20 minutes to go. Just want to take the sting out of this. Let's walk up with the corner. Brings it in. It's a great save. It's not got clear. Matthew Platt scores. And with 19 minutes left on the clock, Bradford City are back in it, maybe. We just need to see this game out. That's what we've got to do. Five minutes to go. And can we just see the game out? It's going to be very close. We're into added time now. Four minutes. And we're going to do it. We are into the playoff final. And that is a huge result. I know that we went defensive. I know... It wasn't the most enjoyable football, probably, for the fans to watch. You know, they had so many opportunities, clearly, towards the end of that game. But we saw the game out, and that's what we needed to do. We're into the final of the playoffs. Just as I speak, by the way, Swindon have just gone 1-0 down in real life. So that's not great. But we're through into the playoff final. So that's versus AFC Wimbledon. Can we beat them? They beat us 3-1 in the league only a few games ago. And hopefully, in the next episode, we can beat AFC Wimbledon. So, that will be coming up in the next episode. So, I'll see you then. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.